I assume you already know GNU Parallel. If not, please watch the intro video first. GNU Parallel has so far worked similar to XArx, but the Fostem release of GNU Parallel introduces the new pipe option, and it makes GNU Parallel work similar to T. T pipes a copy of the output to a file and a copy to another program. Here it pipes a copy to the file my file and to the command word count. And we can see the content is what we expect it to be. The pipe option of GNU Parallel splits the data into records and pipes a block of records into a program. Here we pipe each number to the command cat and after that we print foo. GNU Parallel does this in parallel starting one process per CPU so the order of the output may be different because one command may finish before another. GNU Parallel splits on record separators. This is the example we saw before. The record separator is new line and rec end will keep the record separator at the end. This is the default. But what if your record starts with a record separator? Here's a fast A file. Every record starts with a greater than sign, and to keep that with the record, you use rec start. Similar to this, so the rec start is indicated here, and we will split on the rec start. And as you can see, the cat will output the record, and after that, there will be a foo. But what if you have both? Mbox files is an example that has both ending and starting record separator. So here we have an inbox file and we use the record separator W line and then we use the record start as from space. So let's look at that. And we can see here an email with two new lines, then we insert our foo and then we use from space to indicate a new record and goes to the next email and we can see after that email it inserts a foo and here's the third email and it is there. GNU Parallel cannot guarantee the first record will start with a record separator, and it cannot guarantee that the last record will end with a record separator. You will simply get whatever is first or last. But GNU Parallel does guarantee that it will only split at a record separator. So far we have used dash N1. This tells GNU Parallel to pipe one record to the program, like this. But we can choose any amount. This will pipe three records into cat, and if there's not enough, the last will just get two records, and that's the last one up here. However, using dash n is inefficient. It's faster to pipe a full block into the program. Here we tell GNU Parallel to split on new line and pipe a block of 500 kilobytes into word count. The default is one megabyte, as we can see here. You can also see that the records is not exactly the same, and that is of course because GNU Parallel splits at the record separator, and if it has to take a little more or a little less, it'll do just that. But what if you have a bunch of bytes, and you don't really care about the record separator? Well, in that case, you can just disable the rec end. Here we have a tar file, and to compress that, we can split it into one megabyte blocks, pipe that to gzip, and using just k, we'll make sure that the order of the output is kept before saving it to the tar gz file. The beauty of gzip is that if you concatenate two gzip files, it is still a valid gzip file. And to test that, we can just test if this is a valid tar gz file. And clearly it is. Sometimes the output of GNU Parallel cannot be mixed into a single stream, like in this situation. As you can see, each block of three is sorted, but the whole output is not sorted. GNU Parallel can give the output in a file. GNU pa Parallel will then list the files created. So here it will list these files, and these files will each contain a sorted block, which we can just check here. So the block itself is sorted. 
Sort has an option dash M to merge sorted files into a sorted stream. So by using this, we will get the file names and then we will pipe that into parallel. Using dash M, it'll append the, uh, the file names as arguments here. And using dash joy, we can make sure it will only run one program. Sort then uses dash n to sort numerically and m for merging all these files together. The only part missing now is cleaning up by removing the temporary files. We can do that by appending rm. So here we will put in all the files and we will then, after we've done sorting them, we will just remove the temporary files and we will get them sorted here and they'll be gone from slash temp. Thank you for watching. If you like GNU Parallel, please post this video on forums, on blogs, on Twitter, on Facebook or LinkedIn. Please join the mailing list. You can also request or maybe even write a review for your favorite magazine. You can request or build a package for your favorite distribution. Or you can invite me as a speaker for your next conference. If GNU Parallel saves you money, please donate to the FSF or have your company do that. And you can find more information about GNU Parallel at GNU Parallel's website.